In Folkestone, Kent, 21-year-old chef Ben is typical of many men his age. Apart from one thing, his rotten teeth. I've got very bad teeth. You know, my, um, my condition worsens daily. Like one in seven of us, Ben's frightened of the dentist. But he's so scared, he's only been a handful of times in his whole life. The one fear that terrifies me to absolute bits has been the dentist. For me, the worst idea of hell is to sit in a dentist's chair and have a man drill into your skull. Ben's not alone. 1.2 million Brits have never seen a dentist at all. But at only 21, I can't believe he's just given up. Hello, Hiya. must be Ben. Hey. I'm Katie, nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. So are you comfortable to actually show me what it is you're dealing with? Yeah, I'm, that shouldn't be a problem. Then. OK. When he was 14, Ben had a dental brace fixed in his mouth to straighten his teeth. But while he was wearing the brace, he didn't clean his teeth properly. After three years, he went to the dentist to have it removed. Ben's mum, Victoria, remembers it all too well. I cried because they were so black where he'd had the brace removed. Every, every single one of his teeth were, were rotten, so he wasn't able to smile. Years of not cleaning his teeth properly had taken their toll, and the brace had been hiding the damage that Ben was doing to himself. If his teeth aren't sorted, they will get worse, and then he won't have any teeth. I just wish I could wave a magic wand and, and, and make them lovely again. There is a part of this that is about like personal responsibility. How did you get to the point you are sort of years in today? It just, it was a downward spiral. Yeah. I figured that I was as worse as I could possibly be, so I just let it get worse. Do you feel attractive? No. I don't, I don't see why a woman should want me when I don't even want me. Are you able to be intimate with people with the teeth? No. Instead of a, you know, a kiss on the face, I'll give them a kiss on the cheek or the forehead. It's just, it's hellish. And I don't want to be, you know, the 21-year-old with no teeth. If he wants to be the 21-year-old with teeth, Ben will have to get treatment. I'm delighted to say he's finally taking advice and is willing to return to the dentist's chair. So I'll be catching up with him in a few weeks' time for a long, overdue and desperately needed dental appointment. One in 10 of us admit we regularly forget to brush our teeth and one in three men don't brush twice a day. Over half of us do visit a dentist every six months, but when it comes to getting medical treatment, men in particular tend to avoid the doctor's waiting room. In Folkestone, 21-year-old healthcare hideaway Ben had been avoiding the dentist all his life. Hello. And I was horrified when I saw the state of his teeth. Today, he's about to do what he should have done long ago. And I'm joining him for his first appointment in years with London dentist Farid Munibi. Well, you're here, that's the main thing. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. It's nerve wracking, I'm not gonna lie. It's, um, what are your biggest fears about today? Anything to do with needles and teeth being pulled. Ben's not alone. Drills and anaesthetic are the two most common things one in three of us fear. Hi, Ben. Nice to meet you. Hi, Katie. Good to see you again. Nice to meet you. Would you like to come upstairs with me? Yeah, no problem. You know the way? I do indeed. Thank you. you. Because of Ben's fears, I'm going in with him. Along with a local anaesthetic to ensure he doesn't feel a thing, Farad gives Ben a powerful sedative to help him relax. I feel more chill. Chill is good. Not all dentists are qualified to use sedatives, but if you're a particularly nervous patient, it's worth finding one who is. I think we've got a very comfortable patient. Farad begins by scraping off the layers of bacteria and plaque 
that surround Ben's remaining teeth and gums. Really well. For you, is this a big job or is this sort of something you come across regularly? No, it certainly is not. Decay like this is really, really, really rare. Mm -hmm. You know, Ben didn't brush his teeth for years. There are 20 billion bacteria in your mouth and they reproduce every five hours. In just 24 hours, they can multiply to over 100 billion if you don't brush. Over 700 different species of bacteria feed on your saliva and tiny pieces of food, forming a sticky film we know as plaque. Some bacteria are good, like probiotics which help digestion. Others produce an acid which attacks the enamel on our teeth, causing cavities. As they multiply, they attack the gums, causing bleeding and bad breath, eventually making your teeth loose and even eating away at your jawbone. In a young person like Ben, I would um, do everything I can to hold on his, to, to his teeth. If I get another five years out of them, that'll be five years later that he'll have to think about something else like implants or a bridge or a denture. So it's worth fighting for these. Turn your head to the left, please. So you're removing the stains and the decay now? I've removed the stains and the decay and now we're putting on long-term temporary restorations. Okay. Further work can only begin when Ben's tooth decay is under control. So he'll need to clean his teeth properly for a month to ensure his mouth is healthy enough to support new teeth. Oh, wow. God, that's amazing already, isn't it? How are you feeling, Ben? I'm good. Yeah, you've come a long, long way. Ben's first treatment is over. I can't believe what I've witnessed. It's quite incredible, I think. I'm OK. I'll come down with you. Thank you. You know, it's not even fully done and I'm over the moon. It is the biggest step I've ever taken and... I'm so happy. I can't explain. My life's been totally transformed by medicine. So I'm horrified by the number of people living with shocking health problems who suffer in silence rather than seek help. When I first went to Folkestone to meet 21-year-old Ben... Hello, Hiya. must be Ben. I was appalled by the state of his teeth. Hidden behind a brace he wore as a teenager, they'd rotted away. And avoiding the dentist had made them so painful to touch, he stopped brushing them altogether. Two months ago, I finally got Ben to see a dentist. I don't want to be, you know, the 21-year-old with no teeth. I think it is a, a lot of work to do for Ben, not having had any dentistry for a very, very, very long time. Mm -hmm. Having dealt with the decay and saved what teeth he could, Dr Farid Manibi instructed Ben to brush twice daily to ensure the only bacteria left in his mouth were friendly ones. Thankfully, he's followed that advice, and today he's back for a final mammoth session of treatment. You can have the best seat in the house. On his last visit, Ben needed a heavy sedative, but this time he's brave enough to have the work done with just local anaesthetic. You may or may not feel a little scratch there. Farid's planning on building individual new teeth on top of what's left of Ben's remaining teeth. Some are still intact, but most are stubs and remnants. He drills through the centre of each one, creating a hole. The holes in the centre of the teeth are where the nerves used to live. And we've taken them out and we'll be using that, the space where the nerve used to live to put a post in to be able to build the teeth up. So the post will help retain my tooth-shaped filling material. On top of this, he then builds up each tooth with a white filling composite. Now the strongest part of the tooth then is the enamel. Mm. So I'm going to use it and cover it with, with the, uh, the tooth-coloured filling material to stick to. 
So what we're going to do is build up the tooth on the inside of this matrix first, and then we squish it on and set it, and hey presto, you got a tooth. Now we just wait a few minutes for this to set. Farad drills, fills, and glues each tooth, then moulds and shapes each one. It's a long process. Finally, after five hours, it's over. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Ben, who had a lifelong fear of dentists, has patiently sat through the intense treatment. You want to have a look and see what you look like with some, some teeth in place. Barbara's got them there. Good effort. Well done for putting, putting up with all of it. Okay. It's a good thing. We, we, we've got a few, few pearlies back that we'd lost. It is definitely a new beginning. It's a new start, a new me. Well done. Ben's done really well. Good effort. And sorry, for, it was such a long session today. I know you are. And in two weeks, I'll be with him when he meets up with his family for the first time since he started treatment. Hello. 21-year-old Ben had avoided dentists all his life and his teeth were in a shocking state. But at long last, I managed to persuade him to get help and he's undergone major dental work. It is definitely a new beginning. It's a new start, a new me. Today, Ben's family have come to see him. I didn't think that he would ever have nice teeth again. Hello. 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 For mum, dad and sister Carly, this will be the first time they've met up since his treatment began. He'll always be my little boy, no matter how big he is. Oh. <laughs> I just want him to be able to smile without having to hold back. Well, I guess all we can do now is uh, see it for ourselves. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Excellent. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that. Look at those teeth. Oh, look Can't believe the change in him. He's just oozing confidence. I don't get to my brother anymore. Oh, look at you. He looks absolutely amazing, and I couldn't be happier for him. <laughs> Excellent. Really proud. We've got new Ben. He looks completely different. I'm so happy that my family were here for me today. It, it was fantastic to see their reactions. You know, I mean, it was, it was, it moved me, it did. It, it was, like I said, I'm speechless. The whole face is lit up. The future's bright for him. Now he's got a smile that he can show everybody. And that makes me, as his mum, very, very happy. <laughs> Without sounding too vain, I feel good and I look good. Stories like Ben's show that even after years of neglect, getting the right dental or medical treatment can turn your life around. I should have seen a dentist as soon as there was any problem whatsoever. Can't believe that smile because he's been hiding it for so for so long. He was somebody I didn't know for a while and now it's back. This is a big, big step in getting my life back on track. <laughs>